Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me again. So in this video I'm going to configure the Ether channels and we're going to use the PAGP mode. So we're going to configure the port channel 1 here between these two switches and we're going to use the PAGP protocol uh, between the, the two devices here. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. So I've got switch 1 already here. So if we just check config interface fast ethernet 0 slash 13 and 14 so there's no configuration at all um, so for testing purposes I've, all, I've got a couple of routers here which are already pre-configured and connected into fast ethernet 01 on this switch and router 2 is connected to fast ethernet 02 on switch 2 uh, and they're all in VLAN 100 and they've got the IP addresses assigned as well so as soon as I bring up the um, trunk or the ether channel um, we should be able to ping from one router to the other okay so in order to configure PAGP it's very straightforward so I've got the, th the two interfaces so we're going to conf t and then we can use the interface range command which configures uh, both uh, fast ethernets 13 and 14 and this command to do that is channel group 1 mode and if you do a question mark there you can see the different options so you've got um, active which is LACP or passive which is LACP as well um, but we're going to do in the PAGP mode we're going to use the desirable uh, which puts it unconditionally into into the, the PAGP mode um, so you can have desirable or auto or you can have desirable and desirable at both ends um, So, but one, hand, one end has to be desirable so we're going to do this one desirable so it's created the port channel um, so my previous videos I just done a, um, the trunk was just dynamic and desirable so in this one we're, we're going to go switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q and switch port mode trunk so we're going to create an 802.1q trunk across our ether channel so the ether channel is going to be pag p but the trunk is going to be 802.1q so if we do show ether channel summary and you can see that we've got the PAGP protocol running um, the interfaces are not um, in the bundle yet so they're still down because I've got the other end uh, which has not been configured yet so if, if we go and do that next so switch to show run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 13 and 14 okay so we're ready to go on that interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 13 dash 14 channel group 1 mode oops channel group 1 mode and then I can go again I can go this end desirable because the other ends are desirable or I can change it to auto which would also work so let's go to auto so that's done and then interface PO1 uh, encapsulation switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q and then switch port mode trunk okay let's just show ether channel summary and it's still down so just double check show interface port channel one switch port and as you can see the administrative mode is trunk but the operational mode is down at the moment um, trunking is dot one q and negotiation of the trunking is on so I'll just give that a minute and that should start coming on show ether channel summary okay that's still down I think the just check the interfaces Oh, that's administrative down. Let's just bring that back up. Conf T interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 13 dash 14. Do a no shot. And show Ether channel summary again. Ah, oh, that's better. Let's come up. Yep, and both ports are now up. Indicated by the P. So uh, we should be able to ping from one end to the other now. So if I bring up my 
routers. So if I just do a quick ping to 10.1.1.2 and maybe the spanning. Tr oh, that's in. Yep, so that's come in. So if I just do router 2, ping 10.1.1.1, and that's successful. So if we set off a nice big ping here. Oops, and do a repeat. Okay, so that's set off. We can shut down the port channels one by one. So if we do a conf t interface fast Ethernet zero slash thirteen, shut that down, and it should carry on going. Show Ethernet channel summary. Yeah, so that fast Ethernet thirteen's down, but fourteen's still up, so everything's working happily. If we now shut down fast Ethernet 0 slash 14, shut that down, we should lose everything. And the pings have stopped. So just double confirm. Show Ether channel summary, and as you can see, both interfaces are down. So we should be ready to bring them back up now. No shut. No shut. Okay, so that's that's up and running. So we're just waiting for the spanning tree to to confirm. And the ether channel is up. All right, so it's learning. As soon as that goes forwarding, it should start pinging again. Normally takes about thirty seconds, but it always takes forever when you're watching it. There we go. That's come up and the pings have started. Brilliant. Thank you very much for listening.